code tutorial for NoCode HQ and today we'll be building um, a cryptocurrency app um, using Glide and this mobile app will display um, different prices for different cryptocurrencies at different dates and times and we will fetch the data using an, uh, the CoinGecko API from Rapid API. We will import this data using Parabola. We will make some changes to this data and then insert this into the, our Google Sheet. And Glide will use our Google Sheet as a database to display um, all of this data. So this is a bit more of an advanced tutorial. Um, we're combining, in essence, four different uh, no-code tutorials. And um, you, need, you need an account with Rapid API, um, a Google account for the Google Sheet, um, a Glide account, and a Parabola account. And you can create an account for all of these for free. And the CoinGecko API, which we'll be using to get the cryptocurrency prices, are, is also for free. So, um, yeah. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go to Rapid API, and you want to log in or create an account and search for the um, API, which is just called um, CoinGecko. And once you're on the CoinGecko API side, you're shown this uh, screen here, and basically it shows you all the endpoints that you can trigger and all the data you can access using their API. And as you can see, there's actually quite a lot you can um, get. So the simple price, markets, tickers, status updates, events, and so on and so forth. But we're going to keep it simple. We just want to fetch the simple price. So just select here the simple price. And um, what you're shown here, you're shown uh, your Rapid API key, um, as well as... Um, your project um, and to the host, so basically where we're getting our data from, the API endpoint, two required parameters. Um, first of all, the IDs and the VS currencies. And what this means, um, the IDs should just be um, what for what, which cryptocurrencies you want to get the data for, and it can be a, co a comma-separated list of various cryptocurrencies. So, for example, if you want to get Ethereum, Bitcoin, Ripple, and whatever other cryptocurrencies there are, uh, just enter them and separate them by comma. And the VS currency is just uh, basically the same thing, but uh, it should just uh, define in what currency you want to get the data. So the Ethereum price in Euro uh, or in US dollars uh, and so on and so forth. And we're actually now going to go to a Google she our Google Sheet now. And what you want to do, you want to create a new Google Sheet. I did it already and I just called it crypto. Uh, you can call it whatever you like. And I want to create a few different headers. And... These are going to be basically our data types that we collect. Um, so in this case, I decided to collect Bitcoin data, Dash data, Ethereum, and Ripple. Um, these are just some cryptocurrencies that uh, came to the top of my head, but you can choose whatever you like. And I also want to collect the creation date, or you could call it the date, or just the, um, the time, or whatever. Um, but this should just be the the date and time of when this data or each individual data row was collected. Um, you're going to see what exactly that means in a second, but that's just the data structure you want to create. It's really simple. And if you want to create more, uh, collect more cryptocurrency data, just insert more um, columns here with the name of the cryptocurrency. We will use Parabola now to uh, fetch the uh, data from the Rapid API. Um, and insert a new row underneath um, this these column space or within these columns a new row each time we collect new data about the pricing. So um, I'm gonna go to Parabola now. So what you wanna do? Um, create an account of Parabola, log in, and create a new um, project. And I actually already created um, um, the project and finished it just to show you and go through with, with you to, uh, how it works. I think that's easier. So in Parabola, you have a choice of various different, um, I would say, modules or whatever you want to call it, um, all sources, transforms, and destinations. And this is just what you can do with data. So usually you want to start off with an API import. So you want to import data from, API, from an API. You could also use an Airtable import um, or an uh, Excel or Sheet import. So you can import data from various sources. In this case, I chose API import, and let's actually click on this now. You can just drag that on, onto the editor here, and let's double click that. So what I requested is I wanna get I wanna get data. So there's get and post. Post just means uh, post data or create data somewhere, and get just means get data, okay? So you wanna select get, and as the API endpoint, 
you actually just want to, if you if we go back to a rapid API, you want to copy this host, okay? So this is the API endpoint, and then just add whatever you want to get. So in, in, in our case, you want to get the simple price. So we just add a slash simple slash price. If you would want to get the coins markets, you would just add this to the end. So in our case, we're going to use this and add this at the end. So if we go back, you can see, okay, we have coingecko.p.rapidapi.com slash simple slash price, okay? Let's go back again. Um, there are two parameters that we need to give um, to receive our data. And the parameter name is IDs, and that's going to be the content of the parameter. And the other par uh, parameter name is VS sla uh, down slash currencies, uh, underscore currencies, sorry. Um, so you just add that by adding um, a question mark, the name of the parameter equals and now just the list of all the cryptocurrencies you want to collect. And that's really easy. You just can say Ethereum, comma, Bitcoin, comma, Ripple, comma, Dash. I could add comma, IOTA, comma, um, I don't know what, what else there is, Dogecoin, and there's, there's a lot of cryptocurrencies. But just add a comma and just add a list of all the cryptocurrencies you want to collect. I chose these four cryptocurrencies, and these are the ones we're going to collect data for. Um, the question mark, uh, question mark signalizes the beginning of a parameter, and if you want to add another one, you just add an and sign, and then do the same thing. You're going to enter the name of the parameter, which was VS Currencies, and just enter um, the currency you want to collect data for. So you could also say, comma USD, comma um, whatever else currency you want to collect. I just want to collect data from for Euro. We have to add one header, so what you want to do, you want to add a custom header, the header key is, if we go back again to Rapid API, the header key will be um, this here, basically, okay? This is what the header key is, our Rapid API key. So if we go back, you want to add the X minus, uh, minus Rapid API minus key. And the value of this is just the API key that is provided to you by Rapid API. That will depend on your account. And um, the API is free, so it doesn't make any difference, actually, but um, you have to use your own API key. Just copy whatever is here and just paste that in the header value. And yeah, that's basically it. What you can do, you can then um, fetch results. And in our case, we're getting um, four columns of data, Ethereum, Ripple, Dash, and Bitcoin. And we're getting um, this weird data structure where it says Euro um, is this, Euro is this. So basically, the current Euro value of Ethereum at the time I calculated it or fetched the data, which is the um, 7th of November, uh, 7 p.m., is 168 euros for Ethereum, uh, 26 cents for Ripple, and so on and so forth. And that looks already quite nice. The only thing is, um, I don't need all of this. I don't need these curly brackets here. I don't need this um, quotation marks. Um, so what I'm going to do, I I added, or what I did, I added a JSON flattener. And what you want to do, you just want to search for JSON flattener, drag that inside, and connect this API input to your JSON flattener. And I just chose what uh, columns I want to flatten. So that's really easy. Just choose um, which you want to flatten. So Ethereum, Ripple, and Dash. And basically, if we flatten this, let's update results again. Um, we get um, another column. Okay, so we have our initial Ethereum column, which is this structure. But after flattening this JSON, this is a JSON format, we get our Ethereum.Euro column, which just um, contains the price, which is exactly what we want. So again, it flattens the Ripple column to ripple.euro and gives us all the euro prices. Great, so we flattened this data and uh, now receive um, our nicely looking uh, just value or the price. The only thing is now we still have this Ethereum and Ripple and Dash columns, which we don't want. So what I also added is a column filter, and again, that's really simple. Just uh, search for column filter, drag that inside, connect the step. And what you want to do, you just want to re remove, remove some columns. So we want to remove the Ethereum, Ripple, Dash, and Bitcoin column. You could also you can choose which column to remove. And we want to keep all the dot .euro columns, the, which are the ones that were flattened in the step before. So after removing all these columns, which we don't need, we're now getting our four... Um, uh, nicely flattened and um, cleaned columns, which are just the price of Ethereum, the price of Ripple, the price of Dash, and the price of Bitcoin. Um, if we go back to our Google Sheet, if you might remember, I also added a creation date value, which is which should be the date of when the price was fetched. 
And we can also add that in Parabola. So again, you want to add or search for a um, date and time. Um, just drag that here, connect that again. And we just want to add a new column, call it current date time. And it should just be the current date time. You can add an offset. We don't need that. And you can add a time zone. And because I'm in Berlin, I'm going to use this time zone. And as you can see, we have our four initial columns. And now the current date time um, column is, will be appended um, to um, our last column. Great, and that's basically already it. Um, as you can see, Parabola is quite powerful. We fetched API from an external source and modified it in various steps to create a nice and structured, um, basically, data um, uh, table, which we can then send to our Google Sheets. So what you want to do, in the last step, you want to search for Google Sheets export. We want to export data to a sheet, connect that uh, to the sheet value, and you have to connect your Google account Choose the sheet you want to use. I chose the crypto sheet. Uh, we want to append to sheet. That's important. We want to create a new row and not um, override the whole sheet. We want to make um, uh, an, uh, uh, modify the um, sheet one, which is just this sheet. We, we don't have any other sheet yet. And um, yeah, so basically, um, when this is triggered, uh, Parabola will add a new row with this data to our sheet. Let's actually publish our Parabola um, project and um, it's going to be run once now. So let's click on run now. Okay. And if we go to our Google Sheet now, great. So as you can see, um, that worked great. Uh, we have our Bitcoin Dash, Ethereum, Ripple, and Creation Date headers, which we created before. And Parabola appended a new row of data, which is the Bitcoin price in euros, Dash price, Ethereum, Ripple, and the current date and time, which is Correct. So um, that worked amazingly great. Let's just run it again just to see if it appends it below again. So let's run now again. And if we go to um, our sheet again, awesome. We have again the price uh, as a new row below. As you can see, the time is a bit different. It's a few seconds later. But um, yeah, it works perfectly fine. What you can do now, you can now schedule it. So you can say, okay, um, Let's schedule this and you can add a rule and you can say, okay, I want to run this every hour, every 30 minutes or even every 10 minutes. So this will define uh, how often new data is going to be fetched from the API and that's, that's up to you um, what you want to do. So once per day obviously wouldn't be enough, but I think every 10 minutes is nice. So um, yeah, you can define how often this uh, should run and just save the rule and um, yeah. So that's basically it regarding our uh, importing data and inserting it into our Google Sheet. And now it's going to be quite easy to just create a Glide application from there because we have a Google Sheet which automatically updates with the current um, cryptocurrency prices we want to fetch. So what you want to do now, you want to go into Glide, create a new app, and choose your crypto sheet as the Google Sheet which we're going to use as a database. So once you're going to do that, um, you'll be brought into uh, your, Google, in your Glide editor. And I did it already. And let's just reload the sheet. And as you can see, we already have our first two data entries, which is um, these two rows. However, it doesn't make any sense the way it is right now, so we have to start editing it. And for this app, I'm actually going to use um, a different structure. So I want to have a tab for each individual cryptocurrency. So if we go back, um, remember we have four different cryptocurrencies. We have Bitcoin, Dash, Ethereum, Ripple. So let's actually add a tab for all of these cryptocurrencies. So I'm going to go to tabs. And I'm going to add a tab. I'm going to call it um, Ethereum. I'm going to change the icon just to dollar. Okay. Um, let's add, let's change the first tab to Bitcoin. Also a dollar sign. Let's add Ripple. Also a dollar sign. And let's also add, um, what do we have again? Dash. Also a dollar sign. Okay, so as you can see, we have our four different tabs here, which should show the individual prices. And we can now go ahead and start editing it. So there would be various styles you could choose here from, but I'm actually going to choose the calendar. Even though that doesn't make 100% sense because it's going to show events, it will still show the price um, at different times, which I think is quite nice for such an app. And 
Um, this obviously annoys, is annoying a bit. The two events, these are not events, obviously, these are prices, but I still think that's the best um, style you can choose. Um, obviously, you can choose other styles, you can choose a list and sort by the date and time and define what should be displayed here in the data settings, but I'm going to choose the calendar now. So let's choose a calendar view for all of these. Okay, and let's go to Bitcoin again. Let's define some things. So, first of all, we want to have um, the Bitcoin as a title, so the Bitcoin price. We want to sort by the creation date and we want to have newest data first. Okay, great. Let's go to Ethereum. For Ethereum, we want to um, display the Ethereum data. Okay, we want to sort also by creation date and we want to have newest first. So, as you can see already, we have a difference here for the Bitcoin. Only the Bitcoin data is displayed, so 168 euros at 12 uh, at 7 p.m. on the 7th November, and for Ethereum it was 65 euros. Same thing for Ripple. We want to choose um, Ripple data, sort by creation date, and have the newest data first. And if we go to Dash now, we want to have the um, Dash data, sort by creation date, and have it newest first. Okay. Um, just one small issue I recognized. I think actually we uh, mixed up both of these values. I think the dash value is actually 8000 and ripple is 0 0.2. So let me let's just check what happened here. We have uh, dash and ripple. Let's actually just change these fields. So this should be ripple and that this should be dash. I think I mi uh, mixed them up uh, when I created the, um, the sheet. So let's just go back. Let's just reload the sheet. And this should change now. So if we go, yes. So okay, it was actually removed. So we have to do it again. Let me just add the tabs quickly. So we have Ripple, and we have Dash. Okay. So same thing again. I'm gonna say okay. This is gonna be calendar. It's gonna show the Ripple data, sort by creation date, newest first, and now it's correct. And this is Dash. Um, calendar creation date newest first. Um, let's actually also change the style of our app. I think for a cryptocurrency app, um, a dark theme is quite nice. Let's choose a dark theme. You can choose whatever you like. Maybe this. Let's do this actually. That's nice. And um, also going to change the icon to dollar maybe, like this. And you can change the accent color to whatever you like. Uh, but let's go ahead now. And we can also just edit the detail view. So let's just click on an individual um, field. And as you can see, it just shows the, um, the current price or the price as a title um, and the date and time. And we don't need that again. And you could add um, more uh, things. You can uh, more data if you want. You could add a text or something. By just clicking here and adding a component, you can add an image if you want, or a button which shares the screen um, or sends an email. Um, but I'm just gonna um, leave it as it is right now. It's quite simple, um, simple UI, but I think it serves 